Welcome to this week's podcast. I'm Tim Weigel with the New York State IPM program. I'm the grape and hops IPM specialist. And today we're going to talk about spotted lanternfly. Um, over the years that uh, I've been working with the grape industry in New York State, we've had several invasive species come in. We've had Japanese beetle. We've had multicolored Asian ladybug. We've had brown marmorated stink bug, spotted wing drosophila. And, you know, all of them have come. We know about them. They really haven't impacted the grape industry um, to this point the way that spotted lanternfly will. This is the first invasive species that I have talked about and put a warning out about before it's even come into New York State. Um, the reason why is that this is a large insect. It doesn't feed directly on the fruit or the leaves, but it will feed on the trunks, the canes. It um, uses its specialized mouth parts to penetrate the outer portion of the plant and get into the phloem where it sucks the sap out. And so it can stunt the plants and it affects grapes, hops, orchards, um, nurseries and the hardwood industry. So it feeds on 70 different species that we know of right now um, and it can stunt the plant as I mentioned. It can damage it to the point where it loses winter hardiness and you can lose it that way or it can actually with um, a plant like hops it can actually kill the plant during the growing season. It can also be a quality of life issue. Um, we talked about it feeding directly on the phloem, so it's pulling that sticky, basically the sugar um, sap out of the plant. And they are in such numbers in some places in Pennsylvania that it just rains down this, think of a syrupy, gooey sap. And it'll rain down on you. And there are people in Southeast Pennsylvania that feel like they're prisoners in their own homes because they can't go outside due to the amount of honeydew that is exuded by um, the spotted lanternfly. There's only one generation a year, which is the good news. There's four nymphal stages and then the adult stage. Um, so why are we really concerned about this? Um, you can see here on the map that right now um, they're located just in the southeast portion of Pennsylvania. They came in in 2014 into um, Berks County, Pennsylvania, on a shipment of stone from China. Um, spotted lanternfly is native to China, Vietnam, and parts of India. They will lay egg masses, um, has 30 to 50 eggs per egg mass, so they can lay multiple. The females can lay multiple egg masses, so it, once they get there, it doesn't take long for them to go. It's interesting that the adults are clumsy flyers and the nymphs themselves can only move about 20 meters a day. That's about 22 yards. So, you know, why are we concerned? They're down in southeast Pennsylvania. If they're clumsy flyers and the nymphs don't move that quickly, um, why are we worried about it? The thing about the spotted lanternfly is they're excellent hitchhikers. If you think about the size of Pennsylvania, um, South Korea is about the size of Pennsylvania, and spotted lanternfly was introduced there as an invasive pest and in three different areas in um, Korea, and it went across South Korea within a three-year time frame. So you can see by the map that we just had up there that um, in that three-year period of time, Pennsylvania saw it, the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture um, stepped in, they developed a quarantine zone, and they really worked hard at trying to contain the spread of spotted wing. Right now it's um, February, end of February, so what we're worried about primarily is egg masses. You need to look for egg masses. You can see here on the picture that it really looks like at this point in time dried mud. Um, so it's really difficult to, it isn't something that you'd just be walking along and say, oh, that's a spotted lanternfly egg mass, so you have to be on the lookout. So if you have purchased anything that's coming out of the quarantine zone in Pennsylvania, so any of the counties in the southeast portion of Pennsylvania, or um, if you've 
have friends or relatives that have had an RV down there. They're moving from that area. The spotted lanternfly likes to lay their eggs on any smooth surface. Barks of trees, children's play toys, picnic tables. They also have noticed that they like rusty metal. So rusty 55 gallon drums can be plastered with um, egg masses. So right now in New York State, what we need to do is we need to be vigilant. We need to take special care if we're moving anything from the quarantine zone in southeast Pennsylvania up to our area. We need to look very carefully. Um, at this point in the season, we need to look for egg masses. Once we get into the growing season, and we'll talk more about this um, in future podcasts, but know what life stage is out there because they can all hitchhike. All the nymphal stages and the adults are very good at hitchhiking and coming up into New York State. As of now, we've only had one confirmed case of spotted lanternfly in New York State, and that was a dead adult that came in in a shipment um, from Pennsylvania. So if you are going out and you see spotted lanternfly egg masses, um, let us know. We have an email set up that you can use if you're in Pennsylvania, especially in the quarantine zone or around the quarantine zone where you see it. Um, please let the folks at Pennsylvania know. If you have any comments or questions or have some suggestions on future podcasts, please put it in the comment sections below.